In the early days of the internet, bait and switch sites were everywhere. Some were more benign and just posted a screamer, like the scary maze game, but some were definitely more scummy, i.e. womensalliance.xyz, which was literally a bunch of gore videos disguised as a feminist site. I was always a cautious kid on the internet because of it. I was extremely wary while looking for sites to explore. Shock videos working when it came to bait and switch, but so was malware. I remember hearing about one of my friends trying to download a copy of some Pokemon game for his PC and having to get his computer fixed, and getting grounded from it for a month, since his mom didn't trust him on the internet anymore. There were a bunch of those free download sites for games, mostly games geared towards kids, that would turn out to be viruses. This is a story about one of those. A scareware virus, specifically called, Suffer My Curse, themed to a certain cat villager from Animal Crossing. I was big into AC when I was a kid. I remember I had both the original for GameCube and the DS version of Wild World. Back in 2007, we had to move, and I sadly lost the disc for the former, probably after putting it in the wrong case. I thought I brought it with me to the new house, since I had the case, but when I opened it, it was empty. In early 2008, I was home alone in my bedroom, watching some videos on YouTube. An ad suddenly popped up on the side of my screen, saying, Animal Crossing Free, in the style of the original game's logo. It had a picture of Anka, one of my former villagers in my GameCube save, next to it, and had a stock photo of a forest as the background. Little me didn't know what a scam was at the time, so I clicked on it, ready to play the original AC again. When I got on the website, it, bizarrely enough, had an ancient Egyptian theme, with a wall of hieroglyphics as the background and a gif of an oasis at the top. There was another picture of Anka, pointing to a flashing link at the center of the screen, the only Animal Crossing related thing on the page. There was some metal song playing in the background too, but I don't remember much about it. I started spam clicking the link, trying to get it to open, but I noticed something downloaded onto my PC. It was called, SufferMyCurse.exe, and had a pixelated yellow cat head as the icon. I spam clicked that too, without thinking. A pop pop opened. It was just a black background, maybe a loading screen. I tried to X out of it, but every time I clicked the button in the corner, it just reappeared. The computer speakers started to play this godawful screeching noise, as I saw something appear from the darkness of the window. The face of Anka, or some woman dressed like her. Her skin was yellow, but not in a painted way. It looked like she had jaundice, if that makes sense. Her hair was in a bob, and she wore a pair of those cheap cat ear headphones that had been badly spray painted. As she got closer, I could hear the sound of breathing. I could see my desktop background start to move, pixels suddenly being displaced and turning black. The breathing sound got louder and louder, as the woman leaned closer to me. Then the window finally closed. I was about to try and turn off my computer, when the screeching returned as several new windows opened up. Text preceded it, saying, I do a dance for you, I offer my body to you. It was a video of the same woman, completely naked, dancing in a dark room. The camera was in a slightly upward POV, and Anka looked down at it like it was another person. That same metal song from the download page played again, this time with horrific amounts of compression. She continued to dance, but after a few seconds, it started to look really unnatural, swinging her hips without moving any other part of her body. There was another weird noise, someone gagging is the best way I can describe it. The woman whipped her head back with a loud snap, before the video cut off. I had been so transfixed on the video that I didn't notice the apps on my desktop slowly disappearing. At this point, all I had on my PC were Internet Explorer and the trash bin. My background was entirely black, and I just sat there, faced with that empty window yet again. The last thing that popped up was a photo of Anka, full body, blood splattered from her mouth to her midsection. Next to her was text that just said, the queen in gauze has been satisfied, the curse is over. Weirdly enough, the virus seemed to have immediately deleted itself after the video and stuff, returning the desktop to normal. I wasn't sure at the time what had happened, but I think someone got access to my PC. I never told my parents about it, but I'm kind of glad I didn't, because I'd probably be grounded for it.
I don't think I was the only one who saw it either. All I know is that it was really weird, especially with how specific it was. Egyptian imagery, some random villager from AC, nobody would make a virus based on it, unless it was some sort of art project I didn't understand. I tried looking any more information up, but to my chagrin, all I found that was similar to Suffer My Curse was a stupid rule for T4 animation. I did find some Reddit threads talking about fake game downloads and brought it up, but I'm yet to get a response. At this point, I'm just wondering if it was, er, tailor-made to me. Stupid idea, I know, but it wouldn't be the weirdest thing about it.